Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be filming this look for you all. Um, I am seriously so much in love with the color scheme in this. Um, it just came to me whenever I think of the holidays, I think of food and I think of turkey, I think of rolls, I think of cranberries. So I have a little bit of brown, I have a, a pop of gold here and I have a nice beautiful cranberry lip and I incorporated a red cheek. And of course I had to go back to my gold champagne pop. Um, I just feel like the color scheme in this look is just very holiday appropriate. So if you guys wanna see how I get this beautiful holiday look, then just keep watching. All right, let's get started. So we're starting off with the Modern Renaissance palette. We've already primed our eyes. Um, this look may have a little bit of fallout, so that's why I just wanted to go ahead and start with the eyes first. Whenever I'm doing a dark eye, I like I don't like to have all the fallout come off onto the foundation, so that's why I start off with the eyes. We're going in with burnt orange, and we are on. We are. I'm sorry. We are using the Sigma E40 brush, and this is just a nice fluffy blending brush, and it just makes sure to give. Um, great coverage for a good transition shade and this is going to be on the crease and a little bit above the crease as well and um, I'm bringing that out a little bit further on uh, like onto the outer side of the brow bone as well um, because I am going to make this a little bit more winged out then we're going in with raw sienna just to create a little bit more depth for that look and for that transition shade now we are going in with Cypress Umber, which is basically like the majority of this look. It's just adding a lot of that dark pigment. I did want this to be um, a lot of browns and just a little bit of pop of gold. I wanted it to be a little bit more of a smokier, um, a smokier eye, so that's why I went in with this shade. And um, I'm putting that onto the outer, um, the outer lid and the inner lid. And then I'm just, I actually wanted to get a little bit more pigment, so that's why I decided to go in with a flat top brush. And this is actually um, an Urban Decay brush. It doesn't have a name. Um, and then I'm going in with my MAC 217 and I'm just blending that out. You can be pretty uh, messy with that color because these shades are so amazing that they blend so well. Um, now we're going in with Red Ochre and we're just blending that onto the crease because I wanted to add a little bit more warmth to the look. Um, and so that's what you're seeing me doing here and I'm just bringing it out onto that outer corner. Now we're going in with the Urban Decay palette, and this is the Naked 2 palette, and we're actually going in with the shade Half Baked. I went ahead and wet the brush, and this helps me to get a little bit more of that pigment onto that gold. Now what I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi um, Makeup Foundation. I'm in the shade Warm. Um, I wanted to go in with this foundation because it is a little bit more lightweight, and I didn't really need a lot of full coverage, and so yeah, I just felt like going with this and doing more of a Lumi look, and I'm just using my damn beauty blender and just blending all of that out. Um, I find that this gives me a very lightweight coverage whenever I do use my beauty blender, so I just really liked how this came out. Now we're using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles um, Concealer and this is by Maybelline and I'm in the shade Light Pell and I'm just putting that onto the places that I want to bring more light to the face because we are just highlighting. Um, I do like to pat the underneath of the eye there on, onto that inner corner because I, I find that it helps me blend a little bit better whenever I may have a crease in a certain spot. Um, now we're using the It Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder, and I'm just putting that all over that under eye. I usually just do like a, that's a very light coverage for me right there. And then I'm using the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, and I'm using that pale yellow shade, and I'm just um, packing that on to the places that we put the highlighting cream on earlier. Now I'm using the Infallible Pro Matte Powder, and I'm just setting the rest of the face that we didn't set with that highlight, and I'm in the shade 200. And this is just going to help set that face so that we can go in with our powder contour. Now I'm contouring with that very light shade in the shade light palette. And I'm adding that onto the very back of that cheekbone. And um, I like to go forward with my motions and then I like to bring it up and down. And I find that that's what helps me blend out the best. Um, so once again I go forward and then I just move that brush up and down just like so and I find that this is what gives me good coverage And it also gives me a great blend. So that's what I like to do 
Now I'm taking an angled brush and I like to mix the very dark and the very light shade and I feel like that gives me um, just a very beautiful bronzy shade. And so I love to mix my colors, I love to play artist. <laughs> And I'm just um, bronzing it out a bit, adding a little bit more warmth to the face. Then I take the light shade in the shade light palette, and then I contour the nose. Um, and I just like to, here lately I've been keep it, keeping it very simple, and just bringing it up towards the brow. And then um, I will actually add a little bit of the light shade there, um, and then the darker shade underneath, because this helps lift the nose and give it more of a lifted appearance. And then I will just contour the lip with the dark shade and of course blend it all out. Now I'm using um, like a very red blush. It's like a red cranberry and I'm using a brush that's a little bit denser. And um, you guys are probably thinking, wow, this is a lot of red. But once I find that once I add my highlight to, to my blush, that it actually really cancels it out a lot. And then I went in and blended with a little bit of the bronzer. I'm going in with... Um, champagne pop because I wanted to bring out some of those gold tones and see as you can see it has blended it out so well then I go in with the Anastasia glow kit and I'm using the shade star for my highlight for my nose I like to have a little bit more of a wider highlight and now I'm going back in with Cypress umber and I'm using a Mac um, a teeny tiny angled brush and I'm just putting that underneath the eye there and um, you guys will see me blend that out here in a bit and I'm actually going to be blending out with Real Gar. Um, this is going to bring a little bit more warmth to the eye. And so I'm just going to blend that all out. And then after I blend it out with Real Gar, um, you, I don't think I show this on camera, but I actually add a little bit more of the Cypress Umber because I wanted it to make sure that it was nice and dark. Um, a little bit of the Real Gar just blended so well that I had to add a little bit more dark and depth to the eye. So that's what I did. And then I'm just blending that out and creating that shape a little bit more. Now we're going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I'm in the shade Blackest Black, and I'm using my favorite um, winged liner brush. This is the Sigma E05 Eyeliner Brush, and I'm just making that winged liner. Um, I really wanted to make sure that um, I got like a nice, sharp, thick liner. Um, this side always ends up a little bit thicker, but I will go in with that other um, on the other side of the eye and I'll just match them. If I find that my liner isn't um, matching on each side, then I'll just go in and manipulate it a bit. And then you can always you can always clean up your lines. So um, what I'm doing here, I'm just adding, I like to add the base and then I like to go in and make it thicker. I don't make a thick line at first, I just make it thicker as I go. And as you see me he doing here, I made that one a little bit thicker and cleaned it up. Now we're using Tempera, and that's just like a white matte, it's kind of like a creamy matte shade, and I did my eyebrows off camera and I just highlighted that brow bone. Now we're using just a little bit of mascara, it's the blackest black, right before we pop on those false lashes, and the lashes that I am going to be using today are by Kiss, they're true volume, 100% natural hair, and um, they just give the eyes a very um, plump look, so I went ahead and did those off camera for you all. And boom, the lashes are on. And I'm actually going in with this um, this funny mushroom. Um, many MUA actually did um, a tutorial with these. They're actually dick lipsticks, but they're called mushroom lipsticks. And I got this at my sister's bachelorette as a prize. I love the shade though. Like it's just a beautiful shade. And now you can't see like that it that it, the lipstick doesn't even look inappropriate anymore because I use it all the time. So I hope that you guys love this holiday glam look. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>